welcome to engineering visualization channel so today we are going to do a problem on diagonal scale if one centimeter long line on a map represents a real length of one meter calculate the rf representative factor draw a diagonal scale long enough to measure up to 50 meters show a distance of 44.5 meter on it so first we have to find out the rf here representative factor drawing length is it is 1 cm and the actual length is 4 meter 1 cm into 1 meter is equal to 100 cm okay 1 by 400 is the rf that is representative factor here okay so representative using this representative factor we can able to find out the what is the drawing length so here in the problem the actual length given it is 50 meter so for that what is the drawing length we can able to find out from this so drawing length the same thing i am going to write here so actual length given here it is 50 meter okay so rearranging this drawing length is equal to 1 by 400 into 50 meter so it is 1 by 400 into 50 into 100 centimeter okay 100 100 get cancelled here so if you do the simplification it is 12.5 centimeter that is what the drawing length drawing length for the diagonal scale okay okay first uh, we need to draw an horizontal line for a length of 12.5 centimeter here okay so using the scale i'll be drawing a length of 12.5 centimeter I'll be marking 12.5 here and from the other end drawing a horizontal line for a length of 12.5 centimeter I'll be marking this as A and B so here the vertical length from these corner points I'll be considering 4 centimeter okay So I'll be marking this as CD. Okay. Now here this AB length we have to divide into five equal parts. Okay, in order to make the diagonal scale, five fifty meter it is. We have to divide this AB line into five equal parts. So the corner end of here I'll be drawing one angle line that should be less than 90 degree. Okay. Now using the compass, I'll be cutting the five arcs here so that it will be divided into five equal parts first arc second third fourth and fifth you can subscribe to my channel so you can share to maximum students so that they can be benefited okay now the corner uh, arc point has to be joined to the point b here with the help of the scale so parallelly we can uh, connect here we need to draw the parallel lines Okay, now you see it is divided into five equal parts. I'll be drawing the vertical lines. Okay, can mark this as zero, one, two, three, and four okay so here each of the parts were of length 10 meter okay now we can divide this see 10 20 30 40 50 meter total it is 50 meter scale here 
so the first one we are going to divide into 10 equal parts okay we'll be drawing another angle line that is of less than 90 degree so take a compass and cut the smaller arcs here so total 10 arcs we need to cut here can count on it how many arcs you have cutted so total 10 arcs we need to cut then join that uh, last arc with that uh, corner point and we need to draw the parallel lines here okay so carefully you can draw the parallel lines Okay, now we will be marking the reference points here below the line so that it will be divided into 10 equal parts so that is your 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so here we need to connect this uh, as you can mark 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so diagonally we have to connect okay so this zero point we have to connect with the one here can okay? one with the two like that we have to draw okay because this is a diagonal scale connect zero point with the one here okay and then one with the two like that we should connect here yes zero with the one we should connect In same way one with the two Okay, 2 with the 3 okay, point number 3 we should connect with the 4 point number 5 we should connect with 6 point number 7 with 8 like that we should draw the diagonal lines here okay so that's how so we should connect it you can see all these were uh, are meters okay the total 50 meters and this is 10 meter and 10 meter equally divided as 1 2 3 4 like that now the opposite end that is opposite edge we have to divide into decimeters okay so to divide into decimeters we'll be drawing another angle line so that will be less than 90 degree okay Again, we have to divide this into 10 equal parts. So take compass and take the smallest length and cut the arcs here. Total 10 arcs we need to cut here.
so here I'm cutting the total 10 arcs by counting and cutting it okay now join the last cut points with that corner end parallelly we should draw the lines here one by one Guys, you can subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share to maximum students so that they can be benefited. You can write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, vertically you can mark 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's what the decimeter here. Okay. You can show this as a decimeter. So this one it is meters, total 50 meter and this is also meter. Okay. Now we have to show the dimension, okay, dimension of 44.7 uh, mm, 44.5 mm, okay. So for our easy understanding, we'll divide into a smaller parts here that is 40 mm plus 4.5 mm so sorry 40 meter plus 4.5 meter again 40 meter plus 4 meter plus 0 0.5 meter okay so we know that 1 meter is equal to 10 decimeters so same thing we can continue here Forty meter plus uh, four meter plus zero point five into ten decimeter. So totally we have forty meter plus four meter plus it is five decimeter. Okay. So now you have to see here it is forty meter means here it is already shown it is forty means here it is okay. So 40 meter means here means here we have to draw a vertical line for 40 from this end. Okay, now 4 meter. You can see 4 meter and 4 meter means this line, correct? And 5 decimeter means we have to see in the decimeter scale. We have to see the intersection point. Okay, before that, uh, before that I will be drawing these horizontal lines. Okay. parallel horizontal lines we have to draw here guys you can subscribe to my channel hit on the like button and share to maximum students so that they can be benefited Okay, now we can see the uh, 4 meter and 5 decimeter you can see here 4 meter and 5 decimeter so 4 here and 5 decimeter we have to see here so we have to take the intersection point of 4 and 5 decimeter okay so from there we need to draw one vertical line 4 meter and 5 decimeter the intersection point we have to take and draw one vertical line and show the dimension so dimension here it is 44 44.5 meter 
Thank you all. Thank you for watching the video and share to maximum students so that they can be benefited. Thank you all.